Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed last week's story, which was Jack and the Beanstalk. This week, we are going to be reading Sue Potato. Okay, so all the activities that are on the website are to do with this story. So first, before we start, I'm just going to give um, read you the blurb, which is a clue that tells you about the story. So this will give us an idea before we start. So the blurb says, meet Sue Potato. The supermarket superhero with eyes everywhere. Whenever the chips are down in the vegetable section, he is there to save the day. But now there's a pea on the loose. A very, very naughty pea. Has Sue Potato finally met his match? So that's given us a little clue about the story. So I'm going to make a start now. Hope you can see the pages okay. Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket and all was quiet. But, crash, bang, something had escaped from the freezer. Something small and round and green. Mmm, wonder what that might be. Something from the freezer that's small, round and green. Can you have a think? Something looking for trouble. Big trouble. Help, help, cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt. Ah, cried Broccoli. Someone's drawn on my face. Mmm, cried Cucumber. Who was doing this and was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Oh dear, who do you think that might have been? Have a little think. Sue Potato to the rescue. It's a good job Sue Potato's come along to help save the vegetables in distress. He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a flannel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Sue Potato. There's a pea on the loose. Oh no, not a pea, everyone gasped. So they know there's going to be trouble if there's a pea on the loose. But don't worry, because Sue Potato's come to save the day. Yes, a pea. But I'm out of the freezer now and I'm never going back. Ha, 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 ha. And the evil pea ran off to commit more crimes. Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Sue Potato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Sue Potato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes, checked the cheese and snuck up on the beans. Then something caught his eye. Can you see where he's been hiding? You see him on the cupcakes and in the cheese. Hope you can see these okay. The game's up, yelled Sue Potato, but the pea bounced out of reach and onto the trolley. Sue Potato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depth of the freezer. Was this the end for Sue Potato? <gasps> I hope not. Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Sue Potato, he shrieked, but Sue Potato summoned up all his strength. So the pea is going to use a masher to mash him into potato and ran for it. And the pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in on him at the cheese. So he's chasing him round the supermarket. He had him cornered at the cakes. Can you see? So much for soup potato, screeched the pea. You're about to be mashed potato. Surely this was the end for soup potato. I don't think it is. Not today, my friend, said soup potato. Gotcha! Mmm, said the pea. Oh yes, said soup potato. I set my trap and you fell for it, or should that be in it? And he grinned a super grin. Sue Potato had saved the day. Take him away, he said, and the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of pea, said Broccoli. 
and everyone laughed and cheered who'd been inside the jelly. It was the naughty pea, wasn't it? So remember folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you better go and check your freezer just in case there's an escapee in your house. You better have a look, see if you've got any naughty peas. Maybe they'll be on your plate at dinner time. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now, one of the things that I, activities that I set you for this week is to see if you can use a real potato to make your own soup potato. And if you manage to do that, can you send me some photos on Dojo of what you've made? I'd love to see them. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.